it's the opposite. It's people that are trying to express their pain or what they're going through, or they want to be, you know, they want their name to be seen and, and, and they want to, they have a family. And that was one of the greatest things that when we, when we were able to meet real artists, real graffiti artists that were all around our movie. Mucho gusto. How are you doing today, Daniel? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for your time. And and especially for us to talk about Vendel, uh, which I like it. I watch it. And I think you did a really great job. So, yes. Yeah. So I'd like to know what attracted you to the script? Um, what attracted me to the script was uh, the world of graffiti. I, I've always... I'm an art, I, I paint and I draw and I've always been in that world, but I've never ventured into the graffiti world as, as I did in this film, you know? So it was something that really called me and, 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 and it's something that I've always been really curious about, like what it means to be a graffiti, what, what is a graffiti crew? What do they do? How do they interact with each other? Um, that's what really called me and then yeah, I mean, and then, you know, working with the people that I worked with uh, was was a blessing. I mean, I was thankfully we, we found a, a group of actors that really loved it as much as I did and felt passion for it. And so we all kind of like some we just submerged ourselves in this world and, and what it was like to be outside at two, three in the morning doing illegal walls and running away and meeting the people at that night that live in the city of Miami and what that means. And, you know, it was just like, um, I wanted to jump into that and then live in that world for a few months. Yeah, no, I think it's great because always the movies, uh, is, the movies also shows like that they have a life, they have a heart, you know what I mean? So that's the, this why is something that I, that I enjoy watching because show this both, both sides of the story, you know what I mean? Because yeah, some people, the, think they're just bad you know they're yeah, not <laughs> yeah yeah and, and i and i think i i i was probably one of those people too you know i i felt that in many ways these people were just destroying stuff or you know they were probably just kids that were lost or and and, and if anything it's the opposite it's people that are trying to express their pain or what they're going through or they want to be you know they want their name to be seen and and, and they want to they have a family and that was one of the greatest things that when we when we were able to meet real artists real graffiti artists that were all around our movie and and embraced us as as being part of, the, of their crew uh we really got to see that there's so much there's a brotherhood there's like a connection between these people that is sometimes stronger than family you know because they choose to be in the crew because they respect each other and they want to go and do freight trains together and walls and and that's that's just great you know and 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 having these real artists like dax and june and risk and amos and all these people really you know made it seem like we weren't acting it, it sometimes felt like i was in a documentary and i was just a part of of these people you know so that that was kind of cool amazing and some of the gra graffitis are really beautiful like they they send a message to us and especially in miami winwood i used to live in miami so i know that neighborhood really well so but how was it for you like to be filming over there it was awesome uh especially because uh we filmed this movie uh during art basel so you know the streets were full of people and and, and the city was full of all the artists that go there from miami and from other parts of the world and so a lot of the film happened during the, that week and and we filmed uh some scenes during during our basil and and jd the director was like yo go in there and and start you know start a fight and go and get in people's and i was like bro this is some gorilla and there was a time that i almost got into a physical altercation and they had to come and stop me like oh, yo, this is not true it's a movie like don't worry there's a camera over there you know like because you know, it, we, we were just trying to get the most authentic um, perspective on, on what it is to be in a graffiti crew and do this for, for a living or for a lifestyle, you know? And and I, I don't think that's been portrayed in, in any other, you know, movie or in any other capacity when it comes to that. So I, I feel like 
there's a certain uh, like authenticity about it. I couldn't say that word. Yeah, <laughs> you got I it. Got it out. I got it out. <laughs> yeah. And how? It's how? Authentic. What do you like the most about your character, Nick? Nick Damage, right? Nick Damage Cruz. <laughs> Nick Damage Cruz. Yeah. Um, I like I like his journey. I like uh, I like where he begins and I like where he ends. And and I always like a character. I like a movie that is character driven. And I like to see an evolution in the character and, you know, like life, you know, the person that I was, I don't know, five years ago is not the person that I am now. And probably in five years, I want to be somebody different. There's an evolution that happens with film. You get to see it in two hours. Right. So it's a little bit quick, but I feel like it, it, it's a mirror of life itself. And, and I and I really, really connected to that. And I, and I really wanted to to grow and be submerged in this world <clears throat> and see what that what that did for me as a person and, and, and you know and it was i think very successful in, in that way yeah and let's talk a little bit about the challenges you know how how was like your biggest challenge was this the the fight scene was like getting emotional what is the, the fight was- scene the fight scene was uh one of the fight scenes that we have between um damage and, and seismic uh seismic sorry um, who is played by by Bo Knapp. Um, that was tough because uh, JD wanted to do the whole thing in one take. And we really didn't have much of the time to kind of put it together again because it's an indie movie and, you know, you got to go and get it done and, and move a little bit quicker than in, in other stuff. Um, so I think that was challenging in the sense of like the technicalities and when you're throwing punches you got to have a very good dynamic and a good relationship and understanding with the camera guy, which was Caleb Heyman. He's a great guy. Uh, and so, you know, I, it's, it's like a dance, you know, and, 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 and it was a complicated dance. It wasn't, it wasn't salsa. It was like something a little bit tougher. So, um, I mean, I think that was really challenging. Um, in in a technical way, I think that would, that would probably be the, my top challenge, you know? Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about like working with JG Freshas? Yeah, JD's cool, man. It's his, it, this is his first, uh, his direct, directorial debut, right? They call it. Yeah. Um, so he, you know, he's, he's a guy who obviously he knew this world better than anyone. Uh, he, he was a graffiti guy himself. He grew up with, with graffiti. He lost friends through graffiti. Um, and so he was somebody that I could, you know, talk to and, and get an understanding of what it was. I think JD did a really good um, job at making us feel comfortable and making us feel like we were already a part of this world, like we didn't have to step into it. I think the way that he cast it was great. All the actors were so good and so passionate about their characters and the movie and what we were trying to tell. And we all just live this Miami lifestyle life for, for a couple months. And, and that's all JD, you know, JD put it together and, and he was a great leader in that way. And um, yeah, I, I'm very thankful. And till today we talk a lot and, and, and we have a good relationship. And, you know, he, he showed me a, a part of, of art graffiti, which I've always been you know, fascinated by it, and, and, and I really thank you for that. Yeah, that's great. And also you work with Juan Pablo Raba, which is, yeah. I, I, I think he's great. Uh, <laughs> how's your experience with him? <laughs> JP, um, JP's fun, man. He, you know, he's, he's, a, he's such a man, you know what I mean? Like he's a man's man. He, uh, he was cool. He's my older brother in the movie. Um, He's, he's a he's a good guy man he, he came in he was really he was doing other projects and stuff and I remember he came and he worked with us I think it was for maybe a week or two and and you know we had to build a connection really fast which was really easy because um I don't know he's just a good a good guy you know um really easy to work with um and we had fun I, I'm I, I want to work with him again uh, because uh, I think we didn't get enough. You know what I mean? You always, you always feel like you want a little bit more. And 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 Jay, man, I really love him. I, I think he's a great actor as well. And uh, hopefully we get to do it again. You know? Yeah. And talking about 
like working again with Juan, Juan Pablo, do you have anything aside from this movie, anything else on your on your plate that is gonna come up soon? Yeah, there's there's a new HBO show that I just finished uh, and it's coming out December 16th. Um, this one comes out November 16th and then stays, it's called Station 11. Uh, it's it's a, a new show that I'm in with a, in, an insane group of actors and, and uh, creators and directors and the, the showrunner, everybody take a look at it. It's called Station 11, it's coming out uh, December 16th, like I said, and it's uh, it's very about what's happening or what has been happening to us, the world, in the last two years. So um, I think it's really relevant to the times and, and hopefully you get to see it as well. Well, before we go, I just want to say that you're, uh, I love your performance in, in Penny Dreadful as oh, Tiago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I just want to thank you so much for your time, Daniel. A lot thank of success you. and I cannot, I cannot wait for everybody to watch this movie and your new projects coming up soon. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. gracias. <laughs> Ciao. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.